In this section I'm going to run the model for the first time. Um, just a reminder of what we've got here. I've switched off the backdrop map here. If I wanted to get that backdrop back, I would go to View, Backdrop, and Show. I'm going to rehide that because I actually don't want it to show. It's a little clearer if you have the backdrop map off to see what your system is. Just a reminder here, we have the existing tank, the end of the existing system here, and the beginning of the proposed system with the pipe, 6 inch or 6 inch pipe, going up to the proposed booster station around to our first home on the mountainside here. Uh, each of the homes, this is HM1 for home 1, has a base uh, has a uh, base demand of 0.35 gallons per minute. Remember those units are in the same as the hydraulic units, which we've selected gallons per minute for this model. Uh, home 2, home 3, home 4, and finally the existing, uh, the proposed tank here with a uh, initial liquid level here of five feet of water inside of the tank. And this is a 12 foot diameter tank. We've set our uh, options and the times for this um, model. Let's just take a look at what we've selected. We've got a duration of 54 hours, which equates to a three 18 hour days. Uh, we've got a reporting uh, step for the hydraulics of 0.167. That actually equates to about 10 minutes. I think earlier on I said it was uh, about one minute reporting step. This is actually 10 minutes, and the same for our reporting time step here. We don't we don't need a, 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 a step every minute at this level of reporting. Although we could choose it just by putting a zero in here to make it 0 0.0167, and then we'd be getting a basically a calculation every minute in the model instead of every 10 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and run this scenario. We do that by clicking the lightning bolt icon here, run, and it tells us the run was successful. That doesn't happen too often on uh, first runs, and it didn't on this model either. Of course, I've run it several times and um, trouble trouble shut out the uh, problems with it. If I did have problems with this model, I'd get a similar box, but it would say warning errors, and when I clicked OK, uh, it would bring up a large uh, pop-up box listing all the errors with the times they occurred and I could note some of those times and go up to my reporting here and get either graphical or table information to see what was going on and causing those errors at those times. I'm going to take a look at the pump, the B1 pump, which is our booster station. Uh, I'm going to use the graph icon here. Again, I could get that by going to report and graph, but I'm going to choose to do it by just using the icon. Because I had B1 selected already, it's automatically selected it here in, as the item of interest. I could add other um, links in. We remember that a pump is actually a link, not a node in um, EPA net. So, if, for instance, I wanted to add pipe four, I could could do so. For now, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to delete that and just keep with the pump one. The parameter here allows me to check uh, the reporting parameters. I'm going to choose. Um, the flow rate, and that's something I'm interested in with this booster pump. And it brings up a, a graph. Uh, the graph extends over the 54 hour period, again, three 18 hour days. We can see here the pump came on at the beginning of the model, as we'd expect, because the tank was set to a liquid level of five feet. And if you recall, our control, simple controls, uh, state that the pump will come on anytime the liquid level is below six feet. So the pump came on, filled up the tank to the about a 12 foot elevation and then switched off. Because the demand was so low at 0.35 gallons per minute for just the four homes, the pump did not have to come on again because the tank did not go below the six foot level again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and increase that scenario time by going to times and then looking editing it. Editing it. And I'm going to choose a time period of 126 hours, which corresponds to seven days. I'm going to rerun this. And let's take a look at that pump again with the flow. We can see here over the seven days the pump did come on and uh, in the, at about 60 hours, about uh, the th third and a third days, the pump came on because the tank went below the uh, six foot level that we prescribed and it came on one more time here towards the end of the uh, scenario. We can see some symmetry coming in here with these, uh, all about the same kind of slope. 
Uh, you can note that the slope uh, signifies when the pump comes on, the tank is at a lower level, and as it pumps and the tank fills, the pump has to uh, put more energy in against the head that the tank is supplying, and therefore the pumping rate goes down. And that's what we'd expect, and this is a good sign with our model. I'm going to go ahead and increase the um, demand for each of these nodes. I'm going to multiply it by a factor of 4. This might reflect a, a build-out um, situation in which uh, maybe four times more homes, i.e. 12 homes, have been built along this uh, quite long pipeline. Not, not, not an improbable thing to occur. Let's look at the um, pump and the flow. You can see here across the seven day, uh, 18 hour day scenario, uh, the pump came on at regular time intervals as we'd expect with our pattern as it repeats itself each day. And again, we get the symmetry with the, um, the slope as reflecting the tank f filling and the pump pushing against more head. We can also go ahead and look at the tank of interest over here, our proposed tank, and see what's happening with that, see if we get a similar kind of symmetry. I'm doing a time series again. This time I'm going to choose the parameter of head, and that's the liquid level elevation inside of the tank. And we can see here again over the seven days we've got a fairly good symmetry with the uh, tank starting off with a liquid level of about five feet in the tank. The pump comes on immediately, fills the tank, and then as the um, um, demand pattern goes throughout the days. It, it uh, uses up the, or it uh, drains the tank um, quicker at some times, uh, less less quickly at a less quick rate during low demand times, and then quick again here. And this is probably signifying the uh, nighttime period when there's very low demand with a kind of a flat curve there. The pump comes on again, and again we see good symmetry here and a very similar pattern repeating throughout the scenario. I'm going to end this segment here.